All right, what's up, everybody? Rob Dog with another episode of Buzzing on a Budget. Um, we're just gonna jump right into the review today because I got a clearance beer off the clearance rack and uh, got a short date shelf life and it's about to expire. So uh, we got to get into it, man, before it goes uh, bad on us. So this is a big barrel IPA by uh, Carl Strayus Brewing. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. And uh, a little bit about the brewery. They were founded in uh, San Diego. Uh, 1989 they were apparently claiming to be the first craft beers in the area and uh, they got a couple other locations man uh, over here in Southern California but um, I actually never heard of them I've never tried any of their beers um, like I said they got a couple locations around Southern California so you know they're doing something right you've been around since 1989 let's go ahead crack this open see what it's like oh again this is a 9% alcohol by volume. Uh, my girlfriend picked this up. Uh, check that out, $1.25. Again, this is off the clearance rack. And uh, also right here, it tells a little story. Uh, you can check it out, uh, Carl Vacation, or Carl, uh, Carl, Carl California, K I can't even say that, man. But uh, anyways, man, so, uh, you know, drink good beer from here, you know, San Diego right there, the little story. And um, they claim to use hops from New Zealand. So that should be interesting, man. Let's go ahead and give this a pour. And again, never really had an IPA I didn't like. So hopefully we'll find something good and interesting about this right here. Now, as I was pouring it, it seemed to be really light. But as the head settles, uh, it seems to start to, uh, start to get a little darker. Starting to become more of an amber color. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's the light. Actually, from this angle, it looks pretty light. But, uh, yeah, over here it looks a little bit darker. But, uh, anyways, go ahead, give it a little smell. Now, it doesn't smell as strong and as heavy as some of the uh, other IPAs I've been drinking lately. But, um, you know, just got to taste it and find out. All right. Like I said, uh... Not as danky as the other IPAs I've been drinking, but still got that classic IPA hoppiness. Uh, got a little bit of fruitiness, kind of like citrus, but uh, more like on the sour, kind of like a grapefruit. Um, yeah, but overall, it's pretty good. Pretty mellow drinking. Uh, pretty heavy on the alcohol, man, so just be careful, man. Like I said, never drink and drive. But uh, overall, <sighs> great beer. Uh, especially for a dollar twenty-five. Not sure what this is regular price, but uh, sure be uh, a lot more than a dollar twenty-five. But yeah, man, this is coming out of San Diego, California. If you're from the area, man, let me know if you tried some of their other beers. Uh, if you haven't tried this, man, go ahead pick it up. Uh, you know, now as I'm talking, starting to get that uh, thinkiness from the IPA. You know, starting to linger. You know, not as earthy. Uh, yeah, more kind of citrusy, hoppy. A uh, little crisp, a little bitter. Like I said, kind of easier to drink than other IPAs. And for being 9% alcohol, man, yeah, it's pretty smooth. Uh, like I said, not as heavy and dinky as the other IPAs, but, you know, maybe you might like that. Maybe not. I don't know. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give this a thumbs up, man. Go ahead and give this a try. Uh, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to leave a comment. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, man. I always love the subscribers, man. And as always, uh, never drink and drive. Drink responsibly. Make sure you're legal drinking age, man. Give a toast, man. Keep finding those deals.